up guys welcome back to another video it's another cool day out it's still cloudy uh, I think it's about 50 degrees right now and yesterday it just got to about freezing the wind chill is in the 20s so coldest day so far chickens some of them are liking it like the fluffy ones sure they like it but the other ones have just been with each other trying to keep warm as best they can so that's how that's going and we do have all all six of the ducks back in here because the mean duck got back in here somehow and it's been fine but update on the ducks i'll go show you right now about to feed the chickens um just a minute here so they're all around me reggie's not reggie's molting a lot so he's losing all his neck feathers and everything okay i'm over back in the other pen by where all these bushes and everything are and i was over here last night and some of the chicks were trying to roost up there so i was getting them down i heard something behind me so I thought it was that cat because the cat always follows me in here and plays with her toe. But it was one of these ducks. And I thought one of the ducks, like, something got it or it ran away or something. Because we didn't, we, I didn't have one of the females all day. But if I can find it here, she was, was sitting on some eggs. There they are. Tucked it back in these bushes there's quite a few piled up right there i'd say like a dozen maybe even more than that but she's been sitting on them past two days or so she just got off of them because they wanted to go play in the water over there since we got some more rain other ducks still in the middle of nowhere have to find them go on a eat egg hunt to find another duck's eggs they were laying in the nesting boxes like the chickens but apparently they didn't want to do that anymore but a lot of the chickens are not molting anymore like here's turkey neck she didn't have any of her neck feathers or chest feathers the other day and now she's all going back chickens are looking better i do have to clip some of the chickens wings like his bert he could be flying out of the new pen and a few of the more bigger hens keep flying out so i have to clip their wings and i know if he gets out he's the biggest rooster and the best looking one i want him to get in a fight with the rooster that's free range because i know he'll act up and do something uh, overall every everything's doing okay a little garden update the tomatoes are doing good i think they're about to grow but all my stuff's too late it almost froze so everything's kind of going dormant now all the trees are changing not too fast it's gonna warm a little bit back up our first freeze not isn't supposed to be until november or so so this winter they said it's supposed to be colder they can't really predict our weather though was going to do a live stream today but ran out of time it's a great day too the sun has been coming out even though it's cold so it doesn't make it that cold and it's not windy at all which is rare especially this time of year fall it gets really windy um yesterday if you're on the stream um a tripod fell so lost connection there but got it back up stream for about two hours Oh, I'm trying to have those at least three, four times a week. So we're going to go feed the chickens right now. Yep. Get them some food. I know a lot of people asking about this breed. This is a Cochin. I have two of those, the big grown-ups, and I have three babies, wherever they're at. The chicks, they're about three months old more of the ones that are black like him and then i have another gray one so after i feed the chickens i'll talk about another update with the ducks
just fed the chickens. I've been spreading it out a lot more. I've also been feeding them a little bit more lately. I do mix whole corn into their diet about this time of year. So I'm gonna have to go get that soon. I'm almost out of feed, so run to the feed shop sometime soon here. Okay, the duck announcement. So what was it, Sunday night? Yes, yeah, Sunday night I went on McMurray Hatchery and my plan was to get, to get 12, uh, I forgot their name. They look like Buff Orpingtons, but ducks, I don't, they might be called Buff Ducks. I'd have to look at it, but those are out of season after, after October, and I don't want to get them that soon because we have the chicks that are going to be hatching. I'm almost sure we're going to have at least 20 of them hatching out of the incubator, and that's going to take up the whole brooder. And if she hatches some, I'll probably put her in the chick pen. I'm not sure. My past experience with ducks is they don't, they pretty much give up on their eggs. But I haven't had ducks that long, so I wouldn't base it off of that. So she could hatch some. And then I just learned that yesterday. So, but I'll have those chicks. So I did go ahead and get some order some ducks. I ordered 12 all females because we already have two males here and that's enough for 10 ducks or so. So we already have too many right now. That's why I have one separated on and off. So that works out well. I did get I think 10 just regular Pekins. Those are the ones I have right now. And then I got three. Uh, I forgot the breed name again but they're Chinese blue something they kind of look like ma mallards but are more blue so it's a different name i just got the ones that they had in stock for december we're getting them the week of christmas so a little bit before christmas and i like the look of these mallards they're, they have a lot of green and blue on their head they're getting fluffy too for the winter so getting, getting more ducks we'll have around 20 depending on how many she hatches. If she hatches any, we'll have more. So, looking forward to that, getting a bigger flock. And when those hatch, I am gonna get rid of a few of the old laggards that don't lay anymore. But we'll see about that. Egg production's been up too. I've been getting at least a dozen eggs now, so it's going back up and not quite the three dozen eggs a day, but definitely going up all right I'm gonna go get the eggs now cuz that sun setting way earlier now it's getting me off trail it's getting the eggs and everything so it's getting colder too so I think it's about 40 45 right now so a bit chilly outside and we're gonna fold fold back in like 15 days, so an hour earlier. So that's how that's gonna go. But we got these two molting, and then that legroom's molting. Pretty much just random chickens like to come in here with Reggie's pen, which I don't mind. I'll feed enough for how much they come in here, but no eggs which isn't surprising for them. The ducks are going crazy out there quacking. I think that duck's on her nest. I'm coming in the hen house now to go get the, see what egg production's like today. But got this bottom roost filled up. We're gonna have to do something, get a bigger roost. This big fluffy chicken takes up like five spots, <laughs> just alone by herself. But yeah, I think that duck's laying on her nest right now. And then we got these other fluffy ones guarding the nest for no reason. So, we got 
some eggs here. Now I got these up here. So doing whatever they want, apparently. Seems like all the big fluffy birds like to stay in the nests and stuff. Especially this one. So total count of eggs, we got 10, a little under a dozen, but I don't blame them. It was a cold day today and still got a lot molting. Got some chickens with their heads tucked in. I have a few of the chicks roosting in here, but some, most of them are on the ground in the hen house or just outside the door. And I'm trying to break some of the habit of climbing up onto the fence, which I've had like every batch of chick chickens do when they're a chick, but they always get broken of it, so don't worry about that that much. So let's go check on the ducks now, see what they're up to. So she just got off her nest, didn't get a shot of her on there. It's that girl up there. But ducks are doing good. Quacking in the middle of the night like they always do. So guys, I'm going to be doing a live stream today, the day you're watching this, or most of you are watching this on Wednesday, and I'm going to do one on Thursday, hopefully too. So two more live streams, I'm going to try to be longer, and if the weather <laughs> agrees with me, which it hasn't that much in the past, it, I keep putting rain in and taking it out, so the weather's kind of crazy right now. We do have 13 more days on a hatch, so about 12 days now, so not much longer. I'm going to candle them uh, one more time in about three days on their ninth day. And then on the 18th day of them being in there, we're going to put them on the rack. And then they'll be there for three days until they hatch. Hopefully it goes well, and I'll keep you updated on that. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to share the videos with your friends, and I'll see you next time.